So growing up, I was taught that there's only a couple ways to get rich. One, if you wanted to be mega rich, like you really had to be a big time movie star or like a really good pro sports player or something like that. But if you think about it, that kind of path is really out of reach for most normal people. But yeah, say you just want to be like a regular amount of rich, you could achieve that by becoming a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer. Pretty much like a good professional job that has a high paying salary. But the thing is, as I got older and I started to pay more attention to the type of lives these people were living, I was starting to question whether it was a life that I wanted to model for myself. Like you see articles about this all over the internet. You see examples of like professional athletes going bankrupt soon after they retire from playing. And you also see articles about people who have these high paying jobs like doctors, engineers, and lawyers. And you see how some of them are still living paycheck to paycheck. And yeah, when I start seeing this kind of stuff, I start to question if there's a better way to build wealth. So yeah, over the last couple years, I've been really trying to dive deep into the topic of wealth creation and financial freedom. I feel like I've gone through a lot of bad material on the topic, but I think I've also found some really good advice. I've been taking everything that I've learned and I've been trying to put it into action over the last year and a half and I feel like I'm really on to something. So yeah, in this video, I'm just going to share some things that have helped me in hopes that you might find it useful too. And just a little disclaimer before I get started, I'm not rich or retired yet. I've been on this journey for about a year and a half now and I still consider myself very early on in the process. For some of you, a year and a half might seem like a really long time and you're looking to get rich as quick as possible. If you are, this video might not be for you. But before you click away, if somebody's promising you a method to get rich quick, it's usually a scam. I really believe that there's no real way to get rich quick. I think the people who do achieve it do so by getting really lucky or they get there by scamming a bunch of people out of their money and that's something you really don't want to do. But yeah, let's get right into it and start with step one, which is chase wealth, not money or social status. So if you're looking to build wealth that lasts, wealth that doesn't leave you going bankrupt after a few years or living paycheck to paycheck, you really need to be chasing the right thing. So let's take some time and define all of these terms. So to me, wealth is passive income. And when some people hear the term passive income, some might think that it's income that you receive for doing nothing and it's really the opposite. In my experience, passive income actually takes a ton of work up front just to get started. But the good thing about it is that once you build it up, it continues to pay you over time with little to no work to maintain. You can be on vacation, you can be relaxing at home, or you can even be sleeping and the money will keep coming in. So yeah, if you can get to the point where your passive income streams are covering your expenses, that's really what I call financial freedom. That's when you can wake up in the morning each day and you don't have to do anything you don't want to. Like you get to decide what you want to do. And since the money is coming in to cover your expenses, you don't have to worry about running out of money. But yeah, let's define money. And to me, money is just a transfer of value. So I say this all the time, but if you want to make money, you have to create value. And here's where a lot of people run into problems, right? If the value that you're providing is based on the time that you're spending, even if you're making a high income, like you're a basketball player or you're a doctor, the moment you stop working, the money's going to stop too. And to me, that's not freedom at all. Next, social status is just where you are on the social hierarchy. So this social status game is something that a lot of people play. And to be honest, I was caught up into it myself. But the more I played it and the more I thought about it, I started to see that it's really just a game of ranking who's better than who. Like it's really a zero sum game. If you want to win at it, somebody has to lose. And yeah, it's something that you really need to avoid chasing, especially if you're looking to get that financial freedom. So now that you're focused on chasing the right thing, we can move on to step two, which is putting your money in the right things. So you probably heard this a million times, but if you want to build wealth, you really have to lower your expenses and save your money. The first part of this is don't buy things that don't bring you happiness. Companies spend millions of dollars making you think that the only thing missing in your life is their product. They'll get you believing that the moment you buy whatever they're selling, that you're gonna be way better off and way happier than you were before. And yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely get caught up into it as well sometimes. Like at one point, the only thing missing in my life was this P2. And yeah, I spent all this time going on eBay and looking at auctions to try to get it for the right price. And I thought that the moment I got it, I would just feel so much happiness. But in reality, when it came in the mail, it was just like, oh, it's here and then I just put it on my shelf and I kind of forget about it. But yeah, try not to buy things that won't bring you happiness. And to be honest, when I'm thinking about it for myself, most things that I buy actually don't bring me as much happiness as I thought it would. The second way to reduce your expenses is not to buy things for social status. I feel like so many people these days are spending their money in a way that makes them look like they have money, but what they're really doing is playing the social status game. For example, let's just take two fictional people. Each of them has a thousand dollars and one of them goes to the store and spends all one thousand dollars on a Gucci wallet. The other person takes that $1,000 and puts it in the bank. So here's the question, right? 
who actually has more money here and who looks like they have more money? Like the person who put $1,000 in the bank actually has $1,000. And while the person with the Gucci wallet might walk around and people might assume that they have $1,000, they really have nothing. And please don't be offended if you own a Gucci wallet. It's your money, you can spend it however you like. But yeah, I know there's a lot of people out there who are spending so much money trying to look rich when they probably would be better off using that money to actually build real wealth. But yeah, in a previous video, I showed this chart by JP Morgan that shows that if you can invest $5,000 a year at a 7% return, which is a realistic return if you're investing in something like an index fund that tracks the S&P 500. But yeah, if you start investing at age 25 and you're saving $5,000 a year, you'll end up with $1.1 million by the time you're 65. And imagine if you can save more than that, right? Like that number is just gonna get bigger and bigger. So yeah, if you can find a way to reduce your expenses where you can save $5,000 a year, like $5,000 is $416 a month, like you can build real wealth there. But yeah, I know that $400 a month can be a lot for some people to save. Like say you have a mortgage or you have kids or you have other expenses. Things can add up and it can be really hard to have any amount of money to save. So this is where step three comes in, which is increasing your income the right way. So say you're having trouble saving money at the end of the month, or you simply want to increase your savings rate. Another thing that you can do to increase your income is to build a business. But again, you don't want to build just any business, right? We're looking to build wealth that lasts. And to do that, you have to build the right kind of business. So yeah, we're trying to build a business where the amount of time we put in is not directly related to the amount of time that we're spending. Like we're trying to work smarter, not harder, right? But yeah, the best tool that I know of that can disconnect our inputs and outputs in this way is the internet. I really feel that so many people are taking the internet for granted these days. It's not just for sharing cat pics to your friends anymore. People are using it to build huge amounts of wealth. There's never been a time where anyone can create a piece of media like this YouTube video and have it broadcast all over the world 24 seven. And there's never been a time where you can open a store that sells to the entire world and it's open 24 seven. So yeah, if you're building a business today, the smartest thing you can do is utilize the internet in some way. But yeah, let's just look at some people who are doing this today. The first one is Vic Blends. He's a barber that recently got huge on TikTok and YouTube. And if you never heard of him, I really encourage you to check him out. He posts some really positive content that like makes my day better. But yeah, I think that most barbers in his position, if they wanted to make more money, they would either A, cut more haircuts or B, try to charge more for a single haircut, like try to cut famous people's hair or something. But the problem with that is that in both cases, you're still renting out your time and there's only so many hours in a day. Like you can't be cutting hair 24 seven. But yeah, he's going around and making videos about giving strangers free haircuts. And now he can make one video a week, right? That's one haircut a week. And I'm sure he's getting paid way more now than when he was working 40 hour weeks. But yeah, he's creating this piece of media and he's uploading it everywhere and people are seeing it 24 seven. And he's probably getting money from AdSense, affiliate marketing, sponsorships. And he even started his own online school for people who wanna learn how to cut hair like him. Another good example is a YouTuber called Darren Levy. So he's an Uber driver, which is something that a lot of people do on the side to make extra cash. But the smart thing that he's doing is that he's turning his Uber trips into content that he's putting online. But yeah, this guy's almost had a million subscribers. And because he's doing this, he's now making money even when he's not driving Uber. These are things that a lot of people can do, right? But let's just say that you can't cut hair and you don't have a car. What else could you do? And the answer is really anything. Like say you're really passionate about the show Survivor or even The Bachelor. There are people on YouTube who are making money talking about the shows that they love. So yeah, there are a lot of people that are doing things, right? They're cutting hair, they're driving Uber, they're watching TV, but not everybody is looking for a way to make money by scaling it using the internet. And I think that's a mistake. I think all it really takes is thinking outside the box and putting yourself out there. And again, I'm not saying it's easy. It's actually really hard to get these things up and running, but you'll never know if you can do it if you never try, right? If you're interested in starting your own journey, two books that I really recommend are The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss and The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. I'll link them down in the description below. But yeah, like I said, I'm not rich yet. I'm still in the beginning stages of my journey and I'm still learning. But if you're interested in learning more about my story, I'll link two videos up here. One of them is about how I started a YouTube channel and one of them is about how I started a sticker shop on Etsy. But yeah, that's it for the video guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.